That's Lotus holding for barbecue. Lotus is 16, barbecue is 13. Their size difference is amazing. Uh, and a few more uh, rounds on the bag. I feel pretty good this afternoon. I'm pretty tired. Um, so I'm just kind of like working through to do what I can. Also watching them because they're amazing. Um, but it feels good to be back in training just because I'm moving around. Like if I were at home, it would feel really awful. Um, I feel good about my fight. I actually got offered another fight on Saturday and Trini called the promoter. And the promoter had called me, well, called my people and tried to get me to fight last Saturday, two days before my most recent fight. And I was like, oh, I don't think I can do it this time because I just wanted to make sure that I was like on point for this fight. And uh, they were calling to get me to fight the same girl on Saturday, but they're not sure they want it anymore. So I guess I kind of either change their minds with the fight that I had on Monday, um, or maybe because they were uh, calling my people and not me, they weren't entirely sure who everyone was. We'll see how that works out, but um, so maybe fighting soon, maybe not, but training either way. And it seems like my friend Emma is coming down tomorrow. We're gonna have another clinch soiree, and that's super exciting. Um, my round timer's about to go off. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, so. Uh, I just left Petra Run and I'm about to go up to Omikun and I've just been thinking a lot on my ride over here. It's like a 10 minute ride with traffic um, and I just kind of wanted to update between things because things just happen in training that, uh, you know, I end up thinking about all day. And uh, I'm actually, I'm getting a lot of attention right now at the gym, not from the gym, but at the gym. Um, people are coming through and they recognize me from my fights. Um, I've been put in Moist I Am and stuff like this, so people are kind of like, recognizing me on the street and at the gym and this guy came up and shook my hand who I've never seen before but he like talked to me by name and was asking me when my last fight was when my next fight is I thought he was a little curious that he didn't know when my last fight was because he was totally asking me questions about it as someone who had watched it um, but then there was this lady um, who when I went to like grab my wraps she was like do you speak Thai I saw your last fight it was very good you're so strong all this stuff and uh it, of course it feels really good to get attention from people that's really positive like that. Um, but the thing is, it, it does mean that I'm doing things that you know are, are making people take note, but the absence of that, because it is going to go away, um, doesn't mean that I'm doing poorly. It's like Kevin doesn't not love me when he doesn't say I love you. It's just that he you know, has just thought the thought I love you when he says it. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of like... <laughs> trying to brace myself because when I go to Omikun, they're not going to be giving me attention. Um, they're probably going to be cold shouldering me a little bit, actually, um, because the two gyms are a little bit in, in competition with each other over me. Um, and I've already been back to training and fighting already. I've fought already since our last fight, and the kids are just now getting back to training. So Sangwina is kind of using using this time to, like, kind of, you know, uh, control me a little bit by like eking out the the training that he's giving me and I heard from my other gym that Petchy is fighting tonight um so she's probably not going to be clinching with me uh but so I'm I'm feeling really good um about myself about my training um all these things it's awesome to you know have outside um outside motivation that way as well or outside inspiration that way um but I also need to feel really good when it's not being offered to me, so I'm like having this moment to just, you know, talk about this stuff before I go up to my other gym, and I love this family so much, and I really love training at Omikun, so I don't mean to make it sound like a downer at all, like an incredibly good training there, um, but the, the contrast between the two today especially is going to be really interesting, um, so yeah, I'm going to head up there, and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And, uh, like I said, my friend Emma's going to be here, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I clinched with this kid, Tong, today, uh, who kicks my ass. He's, like, maybe 41, 42 kilos walking around, and he's just so unbelievably fast and strong in the clinch. And uh, so I, I was a little worried about going with him today just because I'm a little bit tired, but it was a lot of fun. We went for, like, 30 minutes, so see how this goes.